Welcome back to another video guys. Let's dive into XRP. Yes, I will refer to it as Ripple as well. Ripple's a company, they have their coin, their token as XRP. The point is, do we want to make money from these cryptocurrencies by understanding their position on the chart? If the answer is yes, continue watching. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you are not and you're a regular viewer, thank you very much for your support. And of course, if you find value throughout the video, hit that like button down below and the bell notification icon so you can see when more of these videos come up into your newsfeed. Now, with that said, we have been looking at Ripple. You can see the videos on the channel, Ripple versus Ethereum, which one is a better buy? Uh, Ripple updates. And most recently, we have been looking at Ripple on the regular basis to figure out, is there going to be another time for it to fall? My position has been, yes, Ripple will fall down. And we've just seen that overnight. I'm basing that off history. Ripple goes on these pumps and then dumps. And I'm not going to get emotionally attached to the, the pump because it's always going to dump me afterwards. It just depends how far up the pump goes. And we can start to see that on the chart. So this recent dump, we forecasted it days and days ago. We didn't have to buy that bottom, enjoy that little tiny spike up and hold on for dear hope and then get dumped again. We could see it happening. So with that, let's take a look at the chart and just see where we are going next. All right, this is the latest XRP to BTC chart. Now, I always make a point of differentiating between the two. We're doing XRP versus Bitcoin price. Reason being is we want to know, is it better just to hold Bitcoin and not worry about this other crap? Just take the headaches out of it because most of us are doing other things throughout the day. Most people aren't trading these. And if they are, usually they're doing very poorly because we know at least 80% of people fail when it comes to trading. So knowing that 80% of people fail when it comes to day trading, let's try and sway the returns in our favor. Let's put the probabilities back in our court and just start to watch charts a little more closely because the news is always going to come out later. Fundamentals are interesting. They're important to understand the company long term. But we saw that back here as the market began to die, this spike, these few days here, one, two, three, four, were basically off the back of an airdrop. So XRP, if you held the token, then you were going to receive Spark tokens on the Flare network uh, for free for holding the, uh, XRP one to one. You're holding a thousand XRP, you get a thousand Spark tokens. But you had to hold XRP for an extended period of time and then the Spark tokens become uh, get dropped into your wallet in a few weeks time. Uh, there's all the dates online, right? But the point here is that we saw this early and then we see the patterns playing out. This, I'm gonna keep nice and simple. There, there's support, it broke. Then this was the bounce that everyone thought they were gonna get rich on again, that they got to scoop up the lows. Uh, basically we saw it at uh, 2,264, pumped up, hit the resistance, which was old support and fell away and by these last few days, probably by the, about the 20th, which we have been looking at, so stick around the channel, subscribe and all that good stuff, we could see that it just wasn't going to hold out. It came back down to these levels and this is a very weak sign. Next day, starts to break down the BTC price and remember, Bitcoin hasn't really done anything these last few days. Bitcoin has stayed reasonably steady. It's moved within a 10, 15% range in that 20,000, you know, 22 to $24,000 area. So it's still losing value against Bitcoin. That's because everyone bought up through here, pumped the price, more uh, dumb money was buying up, then smart money sold out to them. They held on, held on, held on, and now they are part of the Ripple army saying Ripple will go up. So make an important note to have a look at charts. All right, so let's have a look at some of this news and we'll come back into the charts. Here it is here, if you haven't seen it already, cryptocurrency company Ripple is sued by SEC. Now the New York Times wants me to log in and pay for it and I am not giving them my details. So let's close that down. We've got Jake Chavinsky, uh, Twitter account here, lawyer, but not yours. So uh, he's also very vocal about XRP and uh, law things going on. So I've got his comments here. Uh, this is quite bad for Ripple, not exactly worst case. That'd be securities fraud, but close. XRP is basically useless if deemed a security. Alleging violations through present day is a kill shot. 
charging individual executives is remarkable. This is the SEC playing hardball. Okay, so it can look very, very bad, but XRP can make it through or Ripple can make it through and they can go and work their business elsewhere outside of the US, but they want to stay as a US company. So they're going through with this. Some of the other news, we've got Ripple Labs, executives sued by SEC for failing to register XRP. Basically the same thing again, all the headlines are pretty similar. Uh, there's not too much extra information except that we get to see how much uh, they come to in the numbers, uh, raising at least 1.38 billion. From a financial, pers financial perspective, the strategy worked. So Ripple has raised 1.38 billion over years long unregistered offering of a security. So they're basically selling out this token in return for USD, USDT, whatever it is they're receiving, and then selling that off to continue funding the business. So that's pretty much why they're going after them. To me, it looks like that it is a security in that sense, but they'll obviously have all of their lawyers and everything else going on about it to try and get them out of this mess. As that news came out, going back to the chart, that's what happened here. We broke through those supports and uh, I guess people kind of knew that was coming, some of them in the know, and then crashed. Let's throw on the volume and that will really show us where we're at. So there was a ton of volume pushing up, ton of volume into this low. Is this the final low? We still don't know yet. The day's just started. We're 21 and a half hours to go into today's trading. If So basically what I'm gonna do here is if we see this close below yesterday's close or yesterday's low, then we could have further to go and maybe we'll come back and test these lows back here. And where are those lows? They're at 1500. So that could be the next target that I'm looking for when it comes to Ripple XRP. So yeah, 16 to 1500. It's not far to go, maybe 10% off from where we are. If this doesn't hold, then we have to go all the way back to its lows before it ran up in uh, 2017, thereabouts. So this is our previous low before that massive spike in late 2017, and that low is at 1180. So I could see this starting to trickle down and come back and test these lows at 1180. If that doesn't hold, then the, the last lows of, or the last line of support we have uh, from early 2017, and those areas are at 400. So 400 sats currently sitting at 1700. So let's throw it on a log scale so we can get a, a clearer picture of how far that is to fall if we're going to test these levels. So just to test the recent low, 10-ish percent, like I just said. Now we're gonna go back and test these lows here. So where's that? About 27%, so still not the end of the world, not, not that bad, but if we come back and test these lows back here, then that's that's pretty dire. 70% off your Bitcoin, you're way better off just holding Bitcoin and running the profits into Bitcoin. So running your USD profits through Bitcoin. Just don't even take the risk on this. Because like we can see from history with Ripple, it's uh, a pump and then you lose all of your Bitcoin value. So if you don't get out to save some of that cash and then buy back the Ripple at a cheaper Bitcoin price, you're just, you're wasting your time. You could have put one Bitcoin in here and then by this date, maybe you have uh, a few Bitcoin but you could have had a hell of a lot more if you sell out at the top, buy back at the bottoms, and you don't even have to get the top, just somewhere near the top. And those tops you can really, really feel because the hysteria happens. So uh, like we just saw a few weeks ago, that's what happens. You can feel when the hysteria is and you can see it on the chart. So pay attention to the charts. We're gonna keep tracking Ripple. Let's have a look at it against uh, the USD value. I'll take it off the log scale. And uh, that level was just under 30 cents, so it was, accumulating from 23 to 27 cents, pumped up, and now we've dropped back to 40 cents, all the way down from uh, that 82 cent level. So 50% off, still, I think it has a little further to go. We've got a support level here at 35 cents. So if that doesn't hold, then my next level I'm looking at is around that 23. I don't think we're going to come too far below these levels. I think it really has been winding up to get a bit of a pump. So on Ripple, I would probably expect somewhere between 30 and 35 cents is a good level. Like I said, if that doesn't hold, then definitely we're, we're gonna head to much, much lower prices. And I think that could happen on the back of the SEC destroying Ripple in the courts. Uh, if that doesn't happen, of course, then I think we'll probably base out somewhere around 
uh, 28 through to 35, it'll base out there and just start accumulating again, start forming a nice long base before it begins to pump. So personally, I'm not rushing in to get this. It's, I don't think it's necessary at this point in time. I think there is lower prices to come. I think we could see in the vicinity of uh, 27, 25% off all the way down to about 35. So say 25 to 35, thereabouts percent off from where we are in its USD value. With that in mind, Ripple could be a good co uh, contender to increase our Bitcoin value in the future. But for now, it still needs a bit of a restful period after such hectic news from the SEC. If we're looking at our Bitcoin value, then it could still continue to fall further. So we could have losses against our Bitcoin that we own and we could have losses against our USD value. So I, I don't think the risk is worth it just yet. There is no base, no bottom forming just yet. That's what we want to see first. And uh, also some increased volume coming into the market to show us that the base is in and that there are people interested in it again. We don't want to be buying it on these pumps. We want to be buying it as it slowly begins to accumulate. So that's Ripple XRP. Let's stick around with the news and see what happens there. But this we know is a, is a great crypto to purchase to increase our Bitcoin value. It's not, in my opinion, of course, a long term hold because it always to date loses all of its value against Bitcoin. So we're better off just holding Bitcoin instead of Ripple after the fact that it pumps and dumps. XRP guys, let me know what you think. What are you doing with your own XRP? Are you going to be selling out and just waiting for a bottom? Or are you happy just hodling this thing uh, to the very end and maybe seeing some lows? Dollar cost averaging in on the way down at these lower levels, is that something that is a, is a good idea? Have you been buying all the way down? Are you just sort of tired, extended from it? Let us know in the comments what you are doing with your XRP or if you intend on buying XRP to increase your Bitcoin value. I'll wrap that video up there. If you found some value, hit me in the likes down here, guys. Uh, subscribe, more cryptocurrency content coming out. This stuff is starting to heat up so we know we're in a bull market. There's a lot of action for these markets. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, last thing is if you need to buy some crypto, I've got links as well to uh, Australian exchanges. So you can find those in the description down below. Get yourself set up and ready for the action coming up. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for your support. Until next time, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.